Now let's start testing the cancel listing function. So first we should test that the function reverts if the listing does not uh, is not listed for sale. The second test should be that the function reverts if the caller is not the seller of the listing. And then the last test where these two conditions are met, uh, we're going to check that the ownership was transferred back to the seller and that a, an NFT transfer event was emitted with the right arguments. So describe a uh, cancel listing. It should revert if the listing, the NFT is not listed for sale. So let's do const transaction equals NFT market dot cancel listen with an ID of a non-existent token. So await expect transaction to be reverted with the following error message. Great. The second test, it should revert if the caller is not the seller of the lesson. So let's create and listen NFT for sale. So const token ID equals await create and list NFT with any price. Let's do const transaction equals await or just NFT market dot connect signers at index one dot cancel listen token id so we create a, an nft and list it for sale as the first signer and then we try to cancel the listing as the second signer and it should be reverted so expect transaction to be reverted with mm. This should be seller, I guess. It's better. You're not the seller. Great, it's working. Now the f last test. It should transfer the ownership back to the seller if our requirements are met. So I'm going to do the same here. But I'm going to cancel the listing as the first signer. And after canceling the listing, we should check that the ownership, the owner of the NFT is the first signer again. Uh, so let's do const owner address equals await NFT market dot owner of token ID and expect owner address to equal signers zero dot address mm. 
transfer color is not owner not approved oh so this is the same uh, bug as this one so we can just copy this and paste it here it should be working nice so um, check ownership now we're gonna check the NFT transfer event. So console.log received. I just want to know what index uh, the NFT transfer event is. So it's 0, 1, 2. So it's, it's index 2. So const args equals receipt uh, dot events at index two dot args I'm gonna copy these lines so args dot token ID equals token ID args dot two equals signers zero the address args dot token array is an empty string and the price should be zero two Yep, so uh, the cancel listing function is now fully tested. So the last uh, function in the contract is the withdraw funds function. Um, describe um, withdraw funds. So let's start with the case where the one who's calling the function is not the owner. Um, when we deploy the contract, the first signer again was used to deploy it so the owner is the first signer let's try and call it with the second signer so it should revert if called by a signer other than the owner cost transaction equals NFT market dot withdraw funds and it doesn't take any arguments so await expect um, transaction to be reverted with and I don't know what error message so let's let's check it out Hmm, it's not reverted. Oh, because I didn't call it with the uh, second signer. So let's do connect signers one. So the uh, error message is ownable, caller is not the owner. Now, by the time execution arrives to the subscribe function, um, the balance of the contract will not be zero because we tested the buy NFT function somewhere here. So this test um, actually resulted in adding this fee to the contract balance. So the balance of the contract here will not be zero. So let's actually make sure that's the case. So the balance is not zero, it's seven. So it's convenient for us to first test the case where the function executes without reverting. So we will withdraw funds to the first time balance and that will empty the contract balance. 
and then we can test the second requirement here so let's do that first we need to get the uh, first standard balance so const initial owner balance equals wage signers zero dot get balance then let's uh, call the withdrawal function so const transaction equals await nfg market dot withdraw funds and let's wait for it to be mined so receipt equals await transaction dot wait and let's get the new uh, owner balance so const new owner balance equals await signers zero dot get balance and we need to add we need to wait uh, for a couple milliseconds before checking the balance again like we did here so owner. so now if we do new owner balance minus initial owner balance it should be equal to the contract balance so let's uh, do const transferred equals new owner balance dot subtract initial owner balance and we should expect that transferred to equal contract balance um each won't pass because um, there are gas fees that has to be uh, taken into consideration. So this transaction costs gas fees and those fees will be subtracted from the initial owner balance. So we have to add those gas fees uh, into the equation. Uh, the receipt object has information about the gas, uh, the, how much gas was used and the price of the gas. So let's console log. The receipt so I can show you how it looks so the receipt object has the gas used uh, value here and it's the amount of gas units that was used in the transaction and it also has the effective gas price uh, which is how much uh, gas units costs in way now to get the total uh, way spent as gas fees we need to multiply the gas used by the effective gas price so let's do um, cost gas equals receipt dot gas used dot multiply multiplied by receipt dot effective gas price now we should add the gas price to the uh, new owner balance before subtracting the initial owner balance so let's do add gas and then subtract let's try now and yep it is working we just need to uh, modify the description here should transfer funds all funds from the contract balance to the owners now the last test should be that the function reverts if the balance is zero now after this test executes the balance of the contract will be zero so let's do it should revert if contract balance is zero async so const um transaction equals nft market dot withdraw funds await expect transaction to be reverted with balance is zero
Great. Nice. Uh, that was the last test. Now every single function of this contract is fully tested and we have a good uh, level of confidence that this, func this contract will behave uh, as expected when we deploy it. So this is the end of the first section of this, uh, of this course where we created our first smart contract in Solidity and we wrote a lot of tests for it. As you can see, uh, the, the code, the test code is much larger than the actual contract code, but that's okay.